My friend lent me his Valve Tone Impact Amplifier, little 2 watt valve jobby, made by Valve Tone in New South Wales. Now I was cu always curious about these, but I never thought there wasn't any, well I felt that any of the YouTube demos weren't all that brilliant, so I figured I'd do one. Um, as I said, it's a 3 valve jobby. It's got a 12AX7 in the front end, although you can use a 12AU7, 12AT7, uh, 12AV7, 12 anything. Well, should I say 12A anything, 7 hence the hash. In the back end, it's got a pair of 6F4Ps. Now, um, I believe they're the equivalent of the 6DX8 which um, is a valve that was commonly used in TV sets for video amplifier and um, some other thing, I think it was a sync separator or some other stuff. Basically it's a triode and a pentode in one, hence the reason it's got so few valves in it. Now one thing I like about this, I have to admit, although some people may poo-poo it, but it's got a little 5 watt 100 volt line um, transformer. Now uh, these are relatively cheap, very plentiful and bloody um, versatile. Um, I actually use one of these for the um, speaker matching transformer for my old 1920s regenerative um, radios and old 1920s radios. But let's go back to the front. Controls. We got gain, which is a three-way switch. Um, in the middle it's just standard. Up gives a little bit of a boost. Down is a full boost. Bright, a um, little bit of a brightness boost, a lot of a brightness boost, then none. Volume, which is a preamp volume, master tone, and a master volume, which controls the amount of um, signal going to the output tubes. Little transformer on the top, toroid by the looks of things. Um, these things go for about 375, which personally is a bargain. Now. Um, you're seeing it from the outside. Oh yeah, before I actually open it up, let's turn it around. I see connector foot switch for gain, line out. Now the way that achieves it, um, when there's no speaker plugged in, it puts dummy load in the speaker output. So you can run it without a speaker and use a line out to go into a mixing desk or a bigger amplifier, therefore using the amplifier as a slave. All right, so um, I'll just open this thing up and show you the beauty that lies inside. Now this is one of the things that impresses me the most. Um, have a look at that wiring there. Now I've seen the inside of several high watts and that's got mil spec wiring. Um, all done on um, turret board but this is a like fully point to point like some of the early sun amplifiers using tag strip. Now as I mentioned that price before $375 on average. Now these things aren't mass produced. You know you, machines can't do this work. This is all a handmade start to finish um, with a lot of love and care it appears because you look at those right angles you know I thought I was pedantic when I build amplifiers but you know this thing's a bloody work of art just give you a bit there it's the back of the front panel you know you got to marvel at this. This is, you know, amazing. How can you sell this for $375, really? The amount of work that goes into this. Oh, yeah, that's a little 10 ohm resistor. That's the dummy load I mentioned before. Now, check this out as well. Where is it? Come on. I look with my eyes and I look with the camera and it's all in a different place. This here, that little wire is just there to hold that cable up. I reckon that's kind of cute. You know, the workmanship that goes into this. It's great, you know. But like I said, you know, most people won't see the inside of it, but, you know, this this is the sort of thing that matters to me. You, you see where the money's going, well, where your money's going, you know, this could easily be, you know, you pay this sort of money for something mass-produced, you know, 375 bucks, you know, for something wide like this, you know, that's, that's, that's awesome. I'm just going to shut up and... Next scene, I'll plug this in and give you a listen. Just as a comparison, this is the um, Tweed Champ I built the inside of the chassis. You know, I'm rather pedantic, but you know, that looks like, you know, spaghetti vomit in comparison to what we saw in the, um, in the little valve tone impact. And this is done on, you know, turret, which 
you know, words can't really compare, you know, I feel like a hack now. Alright, here I am plugged into a speaker cabinet. Um, the only speaker cabinet I had, which is um, rated at 8 ohms, which is the recommended optimum impedance, has got a pair of um, 70s Marshall G12Ms. Didums, didums, didums. Only choice I had, unfortunately. But something different rather than using the obligatory Les Paul, I'm using the Flying V with, um, I don't even know if that's in shot, but who cares, I'm using a Flying V with 57 Classic and a Classic Plus. As you can see, I'm um, zoomed in, kinda, to the front panel so you can see what changes I'm making. At the moment, both the gain and bright switches have been bypassed, so I've got the master on full, which is like pretty much bypassing the master volume, and I'm just gonna turn up the preamp gain. So there's a bit of crunch there, see my guitar. Slightly out of tune. Good enough for the sake of argument, so I'm just going to tune up, um, turn it up a bit more. with both um, preamp and um, the master cranked up um, no gain boost whatsoever as I said as you can tell it's got like a rather classic sort of crunch to it Turning down the master thins it out because you're not getting a, as much um, power amp saturation. But you know, assuming this is right midnight right now as opposed to just um, after 12 um, in the afternoon, you know, if you want to practice late at night, at least you won't piss off the neighbours. Now I'm um, just going to turn the master back up, reduce the gain, now give it a mild gain boost back to the way it was and um, back to mild gain boost major gain boost so it's got a bit of chunk to it when you give it a lot of gain boost and um, turning up the mark more of a modern type sound. Now I'm just going to clean that up a fair bit. Get rid of the game boost. See what the bright switch does, shall we? with a mild bright boost bright boost off and I drop my pick right where was I bright boost off all right let's go from mild um, no bright boost to major bright boost Gain boost. Sort of a JCM 800 sort of uh, trebly sort of sound. Yeah, something like that.
as I said, 375 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Um, you know, why, why would I even bother cloning it when I can buy it for that much? Um, for that little, I should say. Do it, you know you want one. It's versatile, it's small, it's not going to piss off your neighbours. It's well built and Australian. It's made in Australia. So buy local. See ya.